It is October 3rd already. I am just getting up yesterday's vlog and I was trying to get it up earlier, but twice it got stuck at like 12 to 14%. So trying it again, looks like I actually have a minutes remaining section at the end. So hopefully that means that it will actually upload. On the agenda today, I am planning on finishing up the ink work for my second Inktober piece. I finished this guy yesterday, so this is my elephant. If I haven't mentioned it before, this series is going to be a collection of animals fusing with nature, succulents and plants and things like that. Kind of the stuff I do typically, but on a little bit of a larger scale, a lot more detailed ink work that I am, whoop, I'm planning on doing. And I'm hoping that by the end of these 31 days, I'll have this really great collection of pieces that I'll be proud of, that I can have in my portfolio. And this will be really great practice um, sketching and drawing and inking and coloring all sorts of different animals. This was my first piece and I also worked on this guy and he's not quite done yet, but this is my lion piece. I am putting quite a bit of detail and that's another reason why I I'm not doing inked pieces every single day or a finished ink piece every single day because I know that I'm just not going to be able to complete the detail that I would like on these pieces every single day. I'm not going to be able to devote that kind of time consistently every single day. I am going to be doing them in batches like yesterday I did one and maybe maybe 60% on this guy. And some days I'll be completing quite a few and other days I won't be able to complete much or I'll only get little details done. Yeah, some days I'm not gonna be super great about filming every little inch that I've inked that day and a lot of that is me getting used to this camera and how quickly the battery drains. It just I'm getting into the swing of daily vlogging so I appreciate so so much all of you that are sticking around and are deciding to follow me on this and um, I really appreciate all the likes and comments please please uh, comment down below and if you like what I'm doing please give it a like so I know that you guys like this sort of content. Today is going to be uh, just hammering out a little bit more of my ink work on some of the pieces that I've sketched out and getting a little bit more practice in my sketchbook like you saw me do um, yesterday morning and practice some more sketches of animals, get some more compositions all laid out in pencil and ready for inking so that this coming weekend when I really won't have time to do any Inktober stuff while I'm at my convention, I'll be hopefully ahead of the game at least with my sketches so that I can sit down and ink them. For me, a lot of the time going into illustrations tends to be the planning and composition stage of the actual idea, the concept, and then getting all the lines down as much as I would like and as, as much detail as possible. And then the inking and coloring actually takes up a lot less time. And my cat wants me to play with him. No, honey. I'm busy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to work. I have to work. Yes, I know. Can you keep yourself occupied? So if you hear sounds in the back, that's probably Lando. I am going to work in my sketchbook and maybe play with Lando a little bit, so he'll leave me alone. And continue working out 
uh, all my Inktober stuff. So something I've been doing for this project in particular that you might have seen a little bit of yesterday is I have this fairly large sketchbook. So this is a, a Royal and Langnickel brand. I'm not sure. Um, I feel like I've seen that brand before. Um, I ended up getting this book, which is uh, eight and a half by 11, is each piece of paper, um, although it feels much larger than that. Um, I ended up getting this at, I believe it was a Ross for like four bucks. Um, I wanted a sketchbook to sort of trash, to be honest, to just be messy, to make pieces of art that I wasn't necessarily planning on showing anybody. Going into starting the sketchbook with that in mind, I think made me care less about even sharing it. <laughs> I have a really bad habit of having an idea or having most of an idea and then I sketch it directly on the watercolor paper or directly on the piece of paper that I will be using as the final piece. And I end up racing a lot, which can really hinder the structure of the paper itself, especially for watercolor. The more you're racing, um, you can really compromise the paper itself and the structure of it. It's just not really great practice to sketch directly on the piece of paper when you have an idea and then erase, erase, erase until you have what you're somewhat happy with or if you give up. <laughs> I really wanted to practice sketching loosely because I would draw directly on the piece of paper that was the final piece, I would be perfectionistic about it and I noticed that that made my sketching very stiff. I wasn't very loose with it. I wanted a sketchbook where I could be sketching very loosely, getting gestural drawings down and just getting used to sketching more and sketching over and over and taking a subject and practicing it over and over until I knew what sort of composition I wanted or what positioning of the character I wanted and things like that. So when I started this, started planning for this series, what I did is I sort of sketched out quite a few different animals and ideas because I did want to make my own prompts and I wanted them to be various animals to get the practice in since that's what I love to draw. So I made a list and I'm still working on that list, um, but I wanted to be open to having ideas throughout the month of October, so if I wanted to practice a different animal that I didn't originally think of, I can add it in. And so what I did is I just numbered the pages, one through 31, and started sketching out the animals. And so as you can see, I have foxes, uh, wolves, lions, llamas, and so on and so forth. And as I woke up each morning and wanted to practice my sketching uh, in, in the morning, I basically picked out a page that I hadn't completed or I hadn't started like these. And I would just start looking at references and draw every single one that I liked. And then at the end, when I came up with a general idea of how I wanted to put the composition together, like this lemur from yesterday, I drew a couple thumbnails, and the ones that I like more than others, I added some color to with just some cheapy water-based markers just to get colors down and get a very good idea of how I wanted to draw it. So now I have a fairly good idea of how I want to put the composition together and how I want the drawing and the idea to be executed on the final piece. And I have all of this practice of drawing this animal in various forms, looking different directions, and I have a better understanding of how to draw them in whatever pose that I want.
Hi, Pipi. Are you enjoying the sun? Oh, there you go. And as always, the cat stole the dog's bed. Hey guys, so I was working on this guy. So I'm probably about 80% done with him. I think I'm gonna take a little break because this piece is definitely very repetitive and has a lot of little details in it. I don't think I mentioned it before, but while I was at NerdBotCon, the friend of mine that was helping me at the table decided to commission me, and I need to start getting on to working on her commission. And she had asked for a possum, which is it possum or is it opossum? I always thought that the O was supposed to be silent. What do you guys say? Let me know down below. I'm probably wrong. And I'll probably just switch back and forth just in case I am wrong. So that I'm just wrong half of the time. So I don't know if any of you had been following the sketchbook slam challenge that Holly Brown um, started up. I know it got a lot more attention when uh, Bailey J started doing it on her channel and her vlog channel, um, but I I follow both of those artists and I saw when Holly first introduced it. Um, if you're not familiar with it, as far as I remember, it was a challenge to fill a 600 page sketchbook which there's a specific one that you can buy on Amazon or online. You're supposed to fill the 600 page sketchbook in 30 days or a month. After watching a lot of that content and people talking about it, I did end up getting fairly inspired by just the thought of sketching more regularly. I know this is something that a lot of artists do and a lot of really great artists make a habit. And when I saw Holly and Bailey, and I'm sure there's others who have been doing the sketchbook slam, my immediate thought wasn't to necessarily go out buy this 600 page sketchbook and do the actual challenge, but being around that content definitely helped me realize that, you know, I, I do want to sketch more. So that's when I started sketching in the morning um, fairly regularly. I it's, it's only been a few weeks since I've started really sketching regularly in the mornings. And I did gain some tips from watching both their videos, um, one of the main tips was to sketch in pen, especially just cheapy pens. I'm trying to make it a goal of mine to start using these kind of pens to sketch with. And one goal is to work in ink like this uh, that dries fairly quickly so I, I can sketch pretty fast. And uh, use pen to put down permanent lines and um, these kind of pens are also great. You can see that I do have some lighter lines, or maybe you can't see it, but I did put down some foundational shapes and then I'm, I can gradually make it darker and darker and add to the line weight and darkness. And so that's nice that you can do that, not with just pencil. Um, it ends up being really great because you aren't having pencil down that you're then rubbing your hands on. I mean, you might get ink if it hasn't dried fast enough, but pencil smudges quite a bit and just in general gets kind of frustrating for me. Pen is great. Uh, it is also getting me to practice putting down more permanent lines. I have really enjoyed that. And then my sort of secondary goal is I am definitely a stationary and pen collector. Uh, it doesn't matter how cheap, you know, how free a pen 
could be. Um, I will likely hold on to it because I feel like there is some inherent value there. Some, if it, as long as it has ink, I will keep it. Uh, I won't necessarily use it. I'll keep it, and then it'll sit in a drawer. So I'm trying to use this. I guess sort of challenge. Really, it's just a habit I'm trying to build as a way or a means to start using up these disposable pens. Man, talking while sketching is definitely a challenge. I mean, I, I knew it would be, and I follow a lot of other artists who vlog and do this sort of thing with some of their art videos, and it's, it's hard to multitask. <laughs> I wanted to sign off. I'm going to keep working on my Inktober pieces and the other projects I'm doing. That's puppy. And uh, that's going to be it for me. That's going to be it for me today. So I will see you tomorrow.